So to set up a basic candlestick chart in Thinkorswim, you're going to want to go to the Charts tab. Here in this block, type in just any stock symbol. I'm going to use Target so that we get the, this, these symbols here across the top. Now you want to go to Style so we can set it up as a candlestick and you know, kind of set some, change some colors and things. Go to Appearance. Make sure this is set to candle. The border up, I like to have black. Border down, I like to have black. Doji, it's just black. Doji is when it's just a, a line. It hasn't really formed, you know, a candlestick body because of the way the price has moved. Now, I check fill up, and I like for this to be white. Some people like for it to be green because, you know, going um, increasing and in, increasing money, they think green. But I like for mine to be white. I like fill down to be red and show wicks or just the little sticks there if you see they'll show the wicks so that's just additional price movement that I like to see um, grid is all preference grid is the little dotted lines here I don't like those so I just take them off but you can leave them on down here is volume bars I don't use volume so I don't have them on my chart and volume is just how many shares during this time frame during this formation during the formation of this candle how many shares were exchanged back and forth like I said I don't work off of volume so I usually go up here to equities and check that off so it doesn't show those volume bars okay and then you click OK and you can see the chart is starting to um, it still looks kind of funky but it's, <laughs> but we're getting there okay so we're gonna zoom in a little bit more so you can see the changes that we made so the candles look a little better but we're now going to add the Bollinger Bands um, around this. So then we have our fish and water like I talked about in the previous video. So we're going to go to Studies, Edit Studies. And we're going to go over here in the search bar and look for Bollinger Bands. Click Add Selected. Then we're going to go over here to this gear icon and edit our options here. So you want length to be 21. Leave everything else here the same. I'm going to go over here to midline. I like for this to be a light blue and leave it a one for width so that it's thin because that's the line that's in the middle of the Bollinger Bands. So the top band, I like to kind of make two so it's a little thicker, shows a boundary per se, and make it a dark blue. And the same thing for the upper band. Once that's set, you're going to click OK. Now we're going to add in simple moving average lines and this is just the red and green line from the previous video that um, follows or tracks the candlesticks themselves so you're going to make the click on the gear icon change this to two displace zero and we're going to make this red okay click okay we're going to add another one Click there. We're going to change this to 3. Change this to negative 3. And we're going to leave it green. And leave it 1. We'll see what that looks like for thickness. And then we're going to click OK. And there we have it. See, I like the red and green line to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go back in and edit those. Make them a 2, I guess. Just a little bit thicker so I can there we go anytime you make any changes in thinkorswim you want to make sure you go to setup and save workspace as and then just give your workspace a name so that it saves any changes that you've made during your current session okay and there you have it, a basic chart in thinkorswim